How long-term memories are stored in the brain is a fundamental mystery in biology and medicine. Our brains consist of 86 billion neurons. Each neuron is connected to between 1,000 and 10,000 other neurons through connections called synapses. When one neuron fires, it makes another neuron more likely to fire if the connection between the two are strong. This strengthening of synaptic strength can change with experience. Now, a memory is thought to be a population of neurons held together by the persistent strengthening of the synaptic connections. So the fundamental biological question in memory is the mechanism by which these synaptic connections among neurons are strengthened over long periods of time. This means we have to understand the molecules that act to strengthen the synapses. Now, we actually know a lot of these molecules. The problem is, is that nearly all of them have been implicated in the synaptic strengthening and memory during a very brief time window after learning, lasting only minutes to a few hours. How do we know this? Well, the molecules, particularly if they are enzymes that facilitate chemical reactions in cells, can be inhibited by drugs. So if you give a person or experimental animal a drug that inhibits one of these molecules, the drug works to block the formation of memory when given around the time of learning. But if you simply wait a day and then give the drug, it has no effect on memory at all. Recently, however, my laboratory discovered the first molecule involved in maintaining long-term memory storage. The molecule was identified as an unusual persistently active enzyme named PKM zeta, found only in the nervous system. Learning synthesizes more PKM zeta in specific neurons, and this increased amount of the enzyme lasts for days to weeks. Importantly, unlike any other molecule, inhibiting PKM zeta with a drug disrupted synaptic strengthening that had already been established and erased already established long-term memories. In experimental animals, these erased long-term memories could be a day to three months old. Thus, this was the discovery of the first memory maintenance molecule. Conversely, increasing PKM zeta in neurons by injecting a virus that makes more PKM zeta enhances old long-term memories, another unique finding. Identifying PKM zeta's role in memory storage is only the beginning of understanding how memories are stored. By labeling PKM zeta to make it visible under a microscope, we can now ask how many synapses store a memory. We could also ask how PKM zeta changes the populations of neurons representing a memory as memories are erased or enhanced. As I mentioned, after the initial formation of memory, the increases in the amount of PKM zeta can persist within neurons for weeks. Because the turnover of PKM zeta enzyme molecules appears to be in only a few days, these findings implicate other positive feedback loops that sustain the persistent increases of PKM zeta to maintain very long-term memories. There is now a path to understand these fundamental processes of memory.